And we do have the two of pentacles and we do have the star. Might be an Aquarius in your life and we kind of need to find balance when it comes to them. When it comes to this um, situation, this relationship, the energies around it. And we need to find balance by moving on. Healing and moving on, Cancer. So let's see, they might be a little bit a show off, you know, being um, in a public eye, being seen by people and um, yeah, again, the energy of eight of wands, right? Moving forward is the energy of, um, of um, being busy, having things up and running, moving on, healing. I mean, somebody is a busy bee and we do have the sun shine, cancer shine. Somebody is asking you, actually, and the universe is reminding you. Oh, you can have the energy of the sun. You can shine. You can speak the truth. You can stand by the truth. And ask people to stand by the truth. So, bottom of the deck, Hierophant. So this is about marriage. This is about commitment. This is about values and morals. This is about having something solid with somebody. And two of pentacles, it's the second time around. So we might be struggling at this uh, point. Two of Pentacles is really working and taking extra responsibility and putting in the effort so that this commitment of yours stay in balance. So in other words, kind of the universe saying, well, you are doing all the work, you know. We do have the Emperor and the Seven of Swords. We'll see if it comes back again. Might be an Aries uh, who is not very um, faithful to you. So, So let's see. We do have um, Cancer, your past energies, the person you are dealing with, and Mutual. We have Current Energies and Mutual. Okay, we have three for the current moment, so that is a lot going on. Let's see. And the energy is coming your way, the outcome of this situation. Bottom of the deck, Justice. And Wheel of Fortune, going with the flow and moving on. That is something about, we'll see what this is. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is the universe saying, I'm in charge. Yeah, you can do something, do the right thing. Is paired with the justice, right? Do the right thing, follow your karma, do whatever you think it's good for your karma, right? But know that I am in charge, okay? Find balance, but for the whole situation, you know, the universe has a plan. Now, in the past, um, Cancer, we do have the Four of Cups, right? And we know what this is, a missed opportunity, but boy, we were a lot in giving and receiving energy. This is the energy of balance. This is the energy of um, generosity and kindness. So it um, speaks a lot of your energy towards this person. But then somebody was not paying attention, right? Maybe the, this other person, maybe you. Um, Four of Pentacles is really not seeing the signs, right? It's looking at different things and not seeing the universe showing you what you needed to see, right? Of course, it can be a cup, it can be another offer, another opportunity. Um, but it can be simply the energy of we were so, um, you know, focused to be generous, to be kind, to keep this in balance. That is a, that is a lot of sense of working and pentacles and groundiness and, and doing like practical exercises to keep this going, you know. And um, and again, somebody might not um, have been there for you, right, as you um, expected. Now, Cancer, this person of yours, they had a tough time with love. Um, you know, uh, when this combination shows up, speaks of their... Um, they might have um, come to this connection with um, with a baggage of some sort, and it was a challenging one, which made them in a challenging position to start a new relationship with you, to have this um, cup of love, to give it to you or to receive it, right? And even in the past, you have giving and receiving on your side with the Four of Cups. Again, kind of the same energy, one having uh, challenges giving probably, and on your side, you were not receiving it, but you were not seeing it because too much love and generosity and kindness, sometimes we don't see, you know, when uh, when it's time to see something. And I'm, I kind of feel this is a little bit what happened. You are so busy making it work that you are not seeing that this person has um, was struggling 
right with love and commitment and giving love and uh, opening up and uh, being emotional being intuitive being sensitive either to you either to their own needs you know because five of wands is a very intimate energy it's a very um um internally challenging and um it's an energy of questioning themselves you know so it comes with a beautiful energy of introspection but in the same time i'm not sure a healthy conclusion was um drawn uh, from the house from the the whole situation and then we had rejection and walking away uh we do have the five of pentacles and the six of swords that was feeling alone energies in the past and also healing begins i feel that it was more a need to heal and healing very deep uh past wounds right and some peace of mind with it um, that is this energy of somebody going into retreat with the five of pentacles out in the nature trying to figure things out bringing their own light to their own situation while the other person simply needed to to walk away from uh, wavy waters um, I don't want to say dangerous but if this is kind of what I hear but the you know the energies from the cards I'm not seeing something dangerous here but Again, I'm, I'm saying um, unfairness and injustice in terms of the level of effort, in terms of giving and receiving, in terms of being genuinely open to love and honest about versus somebody who is ready to give. So, And I feel cancer on your side. There's so much um, energy of work and, and giving, you know. But I'm not sure. Again, I'm not sure they were ready. So. Now, where are we right now? We do have the Eight of Swords, helpless and hopeless and waiting, right? The energy is saying, the universe is kind of saying, take the lead of this situation. But we absolutely can understand that um, right now we are not seeing the way out uh, for the situation just as it is. Um, there is a sense of confusion. There is a sense of obstacles and a sense of I'm still bound to this person. I'm still connected. And I feel like I should wait for them. That's the energy we are uh, um, basking, <laughs> if that's the right word, um, right now with the um, with the three of wands. And waiting, waiting for ships to come home with this energy. But I've invested in this. I cannot lose this. Right? Well, the universe is kind of saying, you know, go with the flow. I have a plan. Trust me. Right? Now, this person of yours, um, Cancer, they are not very uh, honest with you, right? They are in the Seven of Swords energy and they have your energy, the Chariot. Um, so something they are hiding, something again might be the universe asking you to seek for the truth. That is something you were not paying attention in the past. And keeps uh, going in their life and um, something you need to be aware of, you know. And it's twice the message for you, right? While you're giving, something was happening behind your back and now keeps going, this dishonesty. And you need to find out. You need to find out what this is. It's interesting, it kind of concerns you because you show up here as the chariot. But, um, um, you know, as the, you know, all over there energy. But I'm more sensing that the universe is pointing you to really seek the truth and see what's going on because something is now mutual energy is between the two of you at uh, this time of course you are both observing each other and um it's interesting a plan is developing right uh we do have the emperor aries energy and the nine of cups wish fulfillment it's like taking control you have on your side take the lead and now we have the lead right with the nine of cups so but I'm more sensing both of you, you are kind of developing a plan here to, to have wish fulfillment uh, together, to come back together. This is, you are what they want, they are what you want. Um, but that is big unknown of what is going on in their life, right? What is going on? What is keeping them away? What is keeping them apart? What is keeping them observing and sacrificing and staying away and suspend, uh, in suspension, right? And, um, and, and honestly, it can, be, it, it can be them not being honest with themselves, but I'm more sensing that that is something that they are hiding that you need to know about. Might be another person, might be an Aries between you and them, might be a Pisces Cancer um, with the hangman. But that is something that you need to know and find out and dig deep. 
Uh, energy is coming your way. I love this. We do have the clarity of belief and um, the Ace of Swords and the Moon Pisces energy. But this is finally seeing, um, you know, having a vision of what's going on. This is communication and confrontation for some of you. Um, if this is what you want, confront a little bit the truth because there is something about the truth in this. Um, now you have an opportunity to confront them in the truth. Um, it's an opportunity actually to discuss fears with this person, to have a more meaningful um, conversation where we um, go through the um, deep shadows of this connection, right? It, it feels like finally um, discussing the shadows of, of whatever went on between the two of you. Now this person, they want to reach out and um, it's interesting, they feel alone at this time. They feel rejected. They feel in a very unstable situation where they might uh, lack finances and, and means, but they want to reach out, right? Three of Pentacles is the energy of wanting to build with you, uh, build a life together, a solid one. Going back to Pentacles because you had in the past two of Pentacles, six of Pentacles. So kind of turning back to what makes them stable and um, they want to reach out, that is no doubt. Mutual energy is between the two of you and coming your way, actually. It is a strong commitment. We do have the strength and we have the higher fit. And we have it twice, okay? We do have twice the commitment card, Taurus energy for some of you, Leo energy, but it's more than that. It is strongly committed to each other, believing in it, and discussing the shadows that um, keep you apart. Because that is, a, uh, again, this... Um, strong energy of something that you don't know or maybe they don't know or they have a challenging time with and because of it it's kind of unclear on how to address this with you um it's very intentional seven of swords but when we look at the big picture of them feeling alone feeling challenged having difficulties opening up and having a meaningful connection or allowing emotions to develop and grow uh, with the ace of cups five of wands in the past we have them wanting the stability of a partnership and yet feeling alone. Can be the energy of depression, can be the energy of abandonment, can be, you know, issues of, of, um, of abandonment and we know it runs deep, um, sometimes to childhood, but I don't want to get there. Um, but that might be something, right? And we also have the moon paired with the Ace of Swords. I'm pretty sure you know what's going on and you have a clear mind about even... Even if sometimes in a mental prison about, I'm pretty sure clarity is coming your way. And you will place the moon at the right place, right? And we know it's depression, anxiety, emotions, overwhelming emotions. And you're going to place them either with them or with you. But the clarity that comes with it is priceless, right? It's a beautiful, beautiful energy. And this connection has a strong... Uh, um, potential for commitment um, but you know shadows need to be cleared over here i'm seeing practical love i'm seeing practical commitment i'm seeing ace of cups in the past and offer of love so i don't know let's see what we are guided to do right well you know me every time i see love cards i'm like oh that's beautiful anyways so let's see what we are guided to do here So, so we do have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. We do have calling in your soulmate. So yes, they are your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. And we do have you deserve love. You are lovable. Um, looks like we are guided towards them. Um, cancer right trust this trust the, the divine timing and the the will of fortune on it you know the uh, universe intervention calling in your soulmate for some of you it's picking up the phone and talking for some of you it's manifestation and visualization and also a little bit of um self-confidence right you deserve love only the best of we have serendipity it's the energy of trust right trust and let go uh, serendipity it's all about going with the flow and allowing things and 
and being in a, um, a very uh, peaceful mental place. So the universe is guiding you to, you know, just go with the flow and stay, stay in peace, um, knowing that this is yours. We do have forgiveness, so somebody here needs actually uh, to be forgiven and you are guided, if you can, of course, um, you know, to come from this uh, place when it comes to them. Bottom of the deck, simple acts of kindness. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. So you deserve love and you are called to have um, small acts of kindness with the people around you. Now let's see the energies we need to put back into the flow. And we surrender regret. I know that I cannot change the past. So we don't live in the past, right? We move forward. It's the energy of flow and the energy of movement. We do have virtue. You acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow. So we put virtue back into the flow. Peace. I love this. Serendipity and peace. Somebody really needs to stay at, you know, at peace and at ease with this one. I am a being of love and I release all negative energies. So this is how you activate peace, right? By saying, I am a being of love all through the day, under your breath. I am a being of love and I release all negative energies. We do have forgiveness again. They might, they might have made a couple of mistakes now, by now. And we do have forgiveness again. You are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. You are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. And look at the bottom of the deck, self-esteem, Cancer. So I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. I know. I know. We have, you deserve love and now we have self-esteem. Somebody really um, is um, kind of guided to... Um, activate a bit of self-esteem or remind yourself that you are special and beautiful and lovable and you have gifts I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others so let's see some general guidance and then we say goodbye we have magic manifesting your dreams visions and goals are becoming reality stay focused let's have another one Divine order. Do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. And bottom of the deck, we do have a third eye chakra. It is safe for you to see the energy of love in all of its forms, such as angels, auras, and visions. So magic manifesting and third eye chakra, isn't it? And divine order, right? We know that is divine timing and divine order for this. And uh, we know the universe is kind of in charge, I would say, and that is somebody going through a lesson and somebody being asked to forgive, right? You have twice the energy of forgiveness, so. But you know what, Cancer, you will have to really, really use a better judgment um, because you know uh, the situation in detail. And of course, this is all that I have for you. You know I love you. Please stay safe for me and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.